This is my DIY camera monitor. Two hours battery life. WHD resolution. Cost less than $60. Almost half the price of same specification. Thanks to the 7 inch display, focusing much easier. A few days ago, I bought the legendary GH5. However, it is difficult to focus on a small screen, so I need a big one. After researching, I can't find the perfect product with my budget, so I decided to make one myself. How to make a camera monitor? Basically, you need an LCD panel, case, LCD drivable, battery. As long as the HDMI is connected to the drawable, you can monitor the camera. The following parameter determines the quality of the screen. Pixel format, waving angle, luminance, color, contrast. Pinolook.com is basically Amazon for LCD. I think I found it. But uh, this screen only supports portrait mode, so I need a drawable with portrait mode. Well, let's do the first test. This is a 5 years old power bank, which may only have half the capacity. Surprisingly, it lasted for 2 hours and me my knees. Ok, let's design the monitor case. First, measure the size of components, then use the measure data to complete the modeling in 3D software. After trying some professional software, I found two problems. First, the operation is complicated and difficult to get started. Secondly, the square operations are very expensive. Here comes Shaper 3D. Because it's an iPad app, I can touch the screen with my finger and sketch with Apple Pencil. Took me about 3 days to learn it. Shaper 3D is free, but the free version can only output STL file. Next, convert her case model to GCO file that can be recognized by the 3D printer. After printing and adjusting the 3D model several times, the case is finished. I kinda like the 3D printing texture and this case looks really good, so I will use it without printing. Because the case is two separate parts, they need to be both together. Set the iron to 200 degrees. Slowly push the thread insert into the mounting hole. After the molten plastic has cooled, the insert will be firmly fixed inside. Same installation applied to one quarter female adapter. The battery lock will automatically open when battery is inserted. Use the spring from click pen to load the lock button. The driver ball needs to be powered by Type-C cable and requires 3.5mm extension cable to output the audio so I made those two with some old cables Everything is ready, let's start the final assembly Add a full size HDMI adapter to the driver board which will help connect the camera easily Plug the USB cable into the power bank and fix the USB connector with hot glue. Connect button and LCD to the drive board. Align the two layers and tighten all the screw. The monitor looks pretty awesome. Let's see how it looks on the GH5. The display area is almost 5 times that of the onboard screen, which means make folks very easy. 
With my eyes, the monitor is brighter and clearer than GH5, and no lag is found. Now I can shut the VLAC file and preview the LUT for perfect exposure. It's lighter than iPhone. The whole package weighs only 370 grams. So, how much does it cost? $58.40 is a very low price for a camera monitor. So, this is my DIY camera monitor. If you guys want to build your own, I will have links in the description. And I will catch you guys in the next one.